मैथ्स मेला सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक मैथ्स मेला टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर ट्वेल्व गिव एंड टेक हेयर वी हैव सम नंबर्स शोन ऑन डिफरेंट क्रीचर्स अ स्नेक अ कैटापिलर एंड अन अदर स्नेक टू द लेफ्ट आर द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ वॉट यू हैव टू डू एड टू एड फाइव subtract 5 picture 1 334 336 add 2 picture 2 375 add 5 picture 3 387 subtract 5 next we have some boxes given in a pattern you have to follow the instructions again for the numbers 234 add 6 357 subtract 6 288 add 9 331 subtract 9 fill all the other blank spaces with the right answers kishan runs a big plant nursery where he puts different varieties of plants villagers often come and take saplings from him to grow in their houses we have the picture of the plant nursery of kishan along with kishan page 151 1 kishan had 364 saplings of different herbs and flowers then he went to his friend's village and brought 52 saplings from there how many saplings does he have now let us draw a box diagram for the problem 364 saplings in the first box plus 52 saplings How many saplings will be there in the second box? Write your answer. Let us use this systematic procedure to solve the problem. We have 364 saplings shown in the picture here and another 52 saplings shown in another picture here. Combine 10 tens to form 100. This is shown in the picture with a red marking. Again Combine three hundreds with one hundred to get four hundreds. This is also shown in the picture. How many saplings in all? We have a table with columns hundreds, tens, ones. On adding three hundred sixty-four to fifty-two, we get four hundreds, one ten, and six ones. This is shown in the table with the help of pictures. Hundreds four, tens one. Ones six, three hundred sixty-four saplings plus fifty-two saplings is equal to dash saplings. Three hundred sixty-four plus fifty-two is equal to dash. Page one hundred fifty-two. You can also use a number line to solve it. Here we have a number line starting from three hundred sixty-four and going onwards with jumps of ten. We take five jumps of ten to reach four hundred fourteen. and then add two one jumps write the numbers in the blank boxes 2 kishan has got an order to deliver 230 saplings to a school he has packed 75 saplings in an open box how many more saplings does he need to pack we write the given problem as a box diagram total ordered saplings 230 saplings in the box 75 saplings that need to be packed dash let us use hundreds tens and ones to solve the problem we have to subtract 75 from 230 this is shown with the help of a picture here a table has three columns hundreds tens and ones 2 3 0 To take away five ones, we change one ten into ten ones. Again, shown here, hundreds, tens, ones. We can now take away five ones from ten ones. Teacher's note: Encourage children to use the Dyne's blocks given at the end of the book and the number line for solving these problems. children can do these problems by taking away and adding numbers in different ways 
discuss the relation between hundreds, tens and ones. Page 153. Subtracting five ones from ten ones, we are left with five ones. This is shown with the picture here. Hundreds, tens, ones. So, on subtracting five ones from 230, we get 225. We must now subtract 70 from 225. We cannot subtract the seven tens of 70 from the two tens of 225. This is shown with the table here. Hundreds, two, tens, two, ones, five. So, we change 100 to 10 tens. Again shown in the picture here. Hundreds, tens, ones. On subtracting 7 tens from 12 tens, we get the result here shown in the table with the help of picture. Kishan has dash saplings now. Teacher's note. Before going into standard algorithms, students should be encouraged to use Dyne's blocks and a number line for solving various problems with different strategies. Page 154. Let us do. Draw box diagrams as shown here to solve these problems. Then use HTO blocks or a number line to solve the problems. 1. Kishan has 456 saplings in August. He distributed 63 saplings. How many saplings are left with him? 2. Kishan has a collection of 309 saplings. He gets 80 more saplings of flowering plants. How many saplings does he have now? 3. Kishan has 270 saplings of herbs and his friend has 36 saplings of herbs. How many more saplings does Kishan have than his friend? Write word problems using the numbers given in the box diagrams here and solve them. You can take help from the pictures for appropriate contexts. Here we have some box diagrams and you have to solve the problems. 234 boys plus 156 girls. The answer is dash. A picture of boys and girls is given on the right. Write your answers in the blank space. 356 books minus 138 books. The answer is dash. We have a picture of library on the right. Write your answer in the blank space. Page 155. Here the total is 305 sacks. We have 210 sacks. Now, what should be added or subtracted to reach the required number? We have a picture of a truck with the sacks being loaded. Write your answers in the blank space. Use the grid given here to solve these questions. Color your answers in the grid. Here we have a grid starting from the bottom left from 451 going all the way to the top to 530. 456 plus 10, 466. 405 plus 23, dash. 481 plus 19, dash. 467 plus 51, dash. 489 plus 21 plus 15, dash. 519 minus 40, dash. Teacher's note. Encourage children to solve the problems using the above grid. Draw children's attention to the pattern of change in digits when adding 100, 10 and 1. Page 156. Do as directed. We have two different tables here with three columns each. Column 1, add 100. Column 2, add 10. Column 3, add 1. Some numbers are given here. 269. Add 100. 369. Add 100. Dash. And so on. 269. Add 10. Dash. Add 10. 289. And so on. 269. Add 1. Dash. And so on. Table 2. 454. 
add 100, dash, and so on. 454, add 10, dash, and so on. 454, add 1, 455, and so on. Write all the other answers in the blank boxes. Many years ago, in the village Jadupur, people exchanged things based on their need. Shamu Kaka gave five sacks of rice to Darya Didi. She, in return, gave ten sacks of vegetables. Darya Didi got two saris from Bablu Dada by giving five sacks of onions. Here we have two different pictures here which shows this exchange of things going on. Like this, people in the village exchanged their things. Shamu Kaka got vegetables for the rice he gave. Darya Didi gave lots of onions to Bablu Dada for the two saris. Discuss in class why people in this village had to give different quantities while exchanging things. These days we use money in exchange for things we need. Notes and coins come in different values which are used to buy different things. Page 157 For example, one 10 rupee note can buy one Hava Mithai or 10 toffees. Here we have the picture of a specimen 10 rupee note in the middle and a Hava Mithai on the left as well as 10 toffees on the right. One Hava Mithai costs more than a toffee. Salma buys two bottles of milk for 100 rupees. Kiran buys a basket of pomegranates for 100 rupees. Circle the one that costs more, a milk bottle or a pomegranate. Here we have a specimen 100 rupee note in the middle, two bottles of milk on the left and a basket of pomegranates on the right. Think of two things that we can buy using the same note. We have a table here with two columns. Column 1, note. Column 2, things you can buy. A 10 rupee note, dash, dash. A 50 rupee note, dash, dash. Write the answers in the blank boxes. Page 158. Match the notes and coins in the two columns that have the same values. Here we have a table with two columns. Different notes and coins are given in the columns and they have to be matched. Teacher's Note Let children observe different features in original notes like personalities, monuments, embossed images for people with visual impairments, numbers and number names in different languages, etc. Discuss with children the connections between notes and coins. Page 159. Use these given notes and coins to buy the things given here. Find at least two ways of giving the money. You may use the notes and coins more than once. Here we have three different notes and three different coins. Few objects have been given here with the help of pictures and their cost is mentioned on the price tags. A car costs 55 rupees. A bag of sweets cost 30 rupees. A packet of milk costs 28 rupees. And a packet of crayons colors costs 20 rupees. Write your answers in the blank boxes given against each object. Have you seen this note? We have the picture of a specimen 500 rupee note here. Draw as many notes of 100 rupees as is equal to one 500 rupee note. We have a blank box given. How many 100 rupee notes are equal to a 500 rupee note? Dash. What things can you buy with 500 rupees? Dash. Use all the blank space for your answer. Page 160. Here we have the picture of a shop where a shopkeeper is sitting. In the morning, Peter Uncle has 465 rupees in his money box. By afternoon, he has 756 rupees. How much has he earned since morning? 
Let us draw a box diagram for the problem. 465 to 756. What should be added here? My estimation, rupees, dash. With the help of pictures here, we have shown rupees 756. The combination of notes and coins shows rupees 756. And then we take out 465 rupees as shown here with the help of notes. Difference between the two amounts is equal to 291 rupees. He has earned 291 rupees since morning. This is shown here on a number line, starting from 291, going to 756. There are many jumps, like 5, 10, 50, and then 4 jumps of 100. The answer is 465. The total amount taken out is 465. Page 161. Today, Peter Uncle sold rice for 640 rupees and sugar for 215 rupees. How much money has he earned from this sale? Draw a box diagram for the problem. Dash, dash, dash. My estimate, rupees, dash. Use the given pictures of 110 rupee notes and a coin or a number line to solve it. And a 1 rupee coin or a number line to solve it. A blank space is given for your answer. Let us do. Solve the given problems using box diagrams. Estimate the answers. Then use notes of 100 rupees, 10 rupees and 1 rupees or a number line to solve the problems. 1. One day, Peter Uncle earned 650 rupees. The next day, he earned 250 rupees more. How much money had he earned by the second day? Teacher's note. Provider asks children to make play money. Help children in exchanging denominations of hundreds, tens and ones and use them in solving problems. Page 162. 2. Rina bought groceries for 209 rupees. She gave a 500 rupee note to Peter Uncle. How much money should Peter Uncle return to Rina? 3. Shirin has 150 rupees in her piggy bank. She puts 100 rupees every week in her piggy bank. How much money does she have at the end of 4 weeks? 4. Peter Uncle saved 250 rupees in the first month. 125 rupees in the second month and 350 rupees in the third month. How much has he saved in these three months? On the right we have a picture of Peter Uncle with all the money he has saved in the three months. Estimate the answers to the nearest hundred. Share your thinking in the class. We have two columns here. Column 1, number sentence. Column 2, nearest hundred. 156 plus 34, dash. 125 minus 15, dash. 105 plus 195, dash. 205 plus 215, dash. 500 minus 395, dash. 765 minus 567, dash. 505 plus 405, Dash. Teacher's note. The teacher can create similar word problems to give children practice of adding and subtracting numbers. Motivate children to draw the problem before solving. Avoid giving keywords to children for solving word problems. Page 163. Compare the given problem statements in each row without calculating. Circle the one that is more. Share your thinking in class. Here, one has been done for you. Row 1. 373 plus 23. 373 plus 40. This is more and has been circled. Row 2. 240 plus 10. 204 plus 10. Row 3. 900 plus 9. 
890 plus 60. Row 4, 345 minus 45, 345 minus 54. Row 5, 800 minus 8, 700 minus 8. Find the pairs that are equal. Share your thinking in class. 516 plus 100, 615 minus 200, 350 plus 50, 400 plus 15, 450 minus 50, 816 minus 200. Fill in the boxes with appropriate numbers. Here we have some boxes with numbers and few blank boxes. Do the addition and subtraction as given here to write your answers. Teacher's note. Encourage mental calculations in the class to solve the problems above. Ask children to frame many such questions. Page 164. Make cards with numbers 0 to 5. Make two three-digit numbers using these cards. Add the two numbers and subtract the two numbers. Rearrange the cards and try to get a bigger sum. Rearrange the cards and try to get a smaller difference. Check with your friends who has got the biggest sum and smallest difference. Here we see a picture of a boy and girl who are busy in this activity. The boy tells, I made a smaller difference than you. The girl says, I made a larger sum than you. In front of them both, there are number cards. Let us do. A. 265 plus 9. B. 405 plus 56. C. 825 plus 175. D. 600 minus 82. E. 568 minus 5. F. 653 minus 356. Teacher's note. Allow children to use the number cards from the book to create different numbers. It can be hard for children to do this task with pencil and paper only. Maths Mela. You were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Gaurav Marwaha and Vasundhara Bose. Sound recording and editing Vikas Sangwan. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.